The first impression at the entrance of OED local government secretariat depicts that when no official activities is ongoing as the gate was under lock indicating that workers were at home in compliance to the strike by organized labor in the state. The reverse was however the case when the news crew gained access into the premises only to discover a large crowd of family members and friends of intending couples who took ten to register their marriage. <laughs> The news crew, after gaining access into the secretariat, discovered that the gate at the back was thrown open for intending couples and family members who thronged the premises for their marriage ceremony. Investigations by the news crew revealed that some of the couples made arrangements for their wedding at the marriage registry of Oedo local government months before the strike. In an interview, some intending couples said, though they are aware of the ongoing strike, they came to honor the agreement with the marriage registry of a wider local government. No, I never thought of that. I was surprised when I get here, things are going on. Since morning, I've been here. Because of strike, I don't think it's on strike. I can't afford, my friend cannot afford not to do his wedding. That's just the truth of the matter. He has to do it. And the, uh, the everything go to the local government. I've been here for like two, three, four hours, if I can remember. So I know they, they had strike, so I really have to wait today, so that's why I'm here. I'm still hoping for them to call me. Reacting to the development, the acting secretary, Edo State Chapter of the Nigeria Labour Congress, Moni Mike Modesti Itwa, said the council did nothing wrong attending to intending couples on the weekend. At the time of this report, several intending couples we are still waiting for their turn to be registered. Sharon Ajay reporting.